Hey everyone, I'm here with a man that I'm sure you all know and recognize, Mr. Pierre Polyev. Now Pierre, you know, I don't, uh, or don't think I ever have endorsed a politician before or gotten behind anyone. You know, kind of in that journalistic political commentary space, yep. just try to focus on getting the facts and the truth out to Canadians. But the truth is that this country is in serious trouble. As you know, inflation, 30-year high. For young Canadians like myself, it's harder than ever to afford a home, uh, even just to put gasoline in the car. And it seems like we have a prime minister who, uh, instead of bringing people together, keeps finding these new and creative ways to drive them further and further apart. Exactly. Whether it's using race, whether it's using religion, whether it's vaccinated or unvaccinated, yes. different regions of, of, of the country. And it's, I just wanted to say that for the first time in a long time, I felt that I have seen someone in you that you. to me has that strength, has that, is articulate, and most importantly, has the political courage to be able to fight back and turn this country around. Thank you for that, Aaron. It means the world to me, and uh, I appreciate you backing me up. Listen, it's about the people in this lineup here who are here to see me in Saskatoon. We've had 2,000 people here. The Prime Minister is about divide and conquer. Mm -hmm. It's time to unite for freedom. Let's bring our people together around the core principle of freedom that attracted so many millions of immigrants to this country in the first place. Let's give people back control of their lives. That's my purpose in this race, and I'm thankful that you support that. And another thing I just really see when, I, when I'm seeing you talk is, is this leader who, instead of always apologizing for Canada, defends it. Instead of yeah. tearing down our history, uh, wants to tear apart the billion dollar subsidy for Justin Trudeau's CBC, who is going to get those pipelines built. And um, to me, the other really important thing is you're not afraid of the media. You're not afraid, obviously, of taking on Justin Trudeau. And most importantly, you're not afraid to say what needs to be said, to do what needs to be done, and take a stand for what is right, not what is politically correct. Thank you. Let's stand up for the common sense of the common people, unite for freedom, put people back in charge of their lives. That's my purpose, and it means a lot that you're on side. Now, the last thing is, of course, uh, politics in Canada isn't a spectator's game, right? right? If you think that this country is headed in the wrong direction, if you're not happy with the status quo, you have to step up and do something about it. And that starts by getting your membership so you can vote for this man, who I think is so important to the future yeah. of this country before June 3rd, right? Before June 3rd, or you can't vote. All these people who are waiting right now are standing by, but they've got their membership so they can vote. You must have your membership or you'll lose your chance to vote. You gotta do it by Friday. Sign up now. Thanks very much, my friend. Thank you very much, Peter. All right.